All right, my name is Jonathan with Nomadic Cooling over here at HQ3 in Glendale, Arizona. And today we're going to be going over the brand new control panel for the Nomadic Cooling X3 rooftop air conditioner. All right, so we have the uh, X3 brand new control panel here on a black interior vent, also available in white. I have it hooked up to a Victron 12 volt power supply so I could do it for the video. There's no actual air conditioner back here. If you're building an entire vehicle out, I do recommend one of these things. I think they're under $200, but it's a very easy way to uh, test out all of your electrical system in your overlanding rig before hooking up your batteries. We're gonna go ahead and push the power button. It's gonna get you your four or five different fan speeds. We're gonna be able to change our fan speed by just going ahead and pressing this button. You can actually do this on your remote as well. So you can hit 78 degrees, just like your max fan, it'll get you auto at 78 degrees, which means your air conditioner can turn on and off based on this temperature. I, for myself, when I'm traveling with the dog, will actually keep this temperature a little bit lower, but you may use 78 as an easy button for when you're sleeping. Pretty good temp for when you're sleeping. Now the Nomadic logo right here is pretty nice. You can actually switch through that to get to your different settings. So you'll see all the way on the right hand side of the display, it says eco mode right now. That'll use about half the actual amperage uh, in consumption. You can do the uh, snowflake, which is high cool mode. The fan is fan only mode. So auto, once again, it'll turn on and off based on the temperature that it sets here and the computer inside the control panel will do everything for you so you don't have to think about it. It'll actually float between eco and cool right in that. Right over here, eco, you're gonna use your buttons up and down to set your temperature, just like so, at the desired temperature that you want it inside your vehicle. Now let's say you, uh, you just want the fan mode on, you're gonna pass through there, you're gonna go right over to the fan and then set that on just like so. Now there's a few extra hidden features here on this new control panel that was not on the Nomadic cooling units previously. And if you hold down the Nomadic logo here in the top left hand, you'll see the big volt symbol up there at the top. You can do your top voltage, 12, tap it again. You're gonna get a low voltage and you can dial it down. Now, if you have a complex electrical system and you're using a Victron battery protect, you can also do that there, but you can also do it here. I believe it's one of the only air conditioners on the market that allows you to do a, a high and a low voltage set point. So we're gonna go ahead and press that one more time. We're gonna press it again, low voltage, press it again, and we can actually set the, uh, the temperature that we're getting out of the vehicle as well. Now the amazing thing, and I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's pretty cool. This control panel will tell you what the errors are. So on the back here, if I spin this around for you, there's two thermistors right over here. There's an in thermistor and an out thermistor. This thermistor that I'm holding here, the white one right here is actually comes pre-attached into your air conditioner. This will turn off the air conditioner based on freezing of the evaporator coil. Once the evaporator coil gets down to that 32 degrees, it'll turn off your air conditioner. If it's a super hot day, that won't happen, but if you're running the air conditioner at night, you may see the air conditioning cycling on and off, and that would be because it's freezing the coil inside. This is a safety feature to make sure you don't wake up in the morning and have ice inside your vehicle. This is the outgoing temperature sensor. This is testing the air that's going into the unit. So this is the this one you would probably just go ahead and tape right here. And when you set the ambient temperature to say 60 degrees, the air conditioner will turn on and off based on this temperature, not this temperature coming out of the air conditioner. This one only turns the air conditioner on and off based on freezing to protect it. And this one is the one checking the air inside the vehicle. So a few other uh, few other wires back here to go over. This little red one's for the voltage sense. This little one in here is for the internal fan. If you wanna know what the rest of the wires do, there's a wiring diagram in your instruction booklet. The Nomadic Cooling X3 control panel has a few safety features uh, available for you as well. If you take a look at it, and I'll try to do this without shaking it, if I unplug the voltage sense, it'll start beeping and then it will throw an error code. It'll say air two. And if you go to your owner's manual, it'll tell you that that's a low battery or no battery signal at all. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that back in. 
You'll also notice here, if I unplug a temperature sensor, just like so, it'll tell you the error code and what it is. So you can then go to your uh, instruction manual and find out that you just need to go ahead and plug that in. If I plug it back in, it will turn back on. <laughs> Rightly so, if I unplug the other temperature sensor, it will tell you that that temperature sensor also needs to be plugged back in and it's not working. So also if you hold this, once again, that gives you to your secret uh, button. It gives you all of your information. And the lower one, once again, is for your fan. Okay. Now these, the interior trim pieces are available in black or white. If you're a builder or if you're doing a few of these, or if you're just a worry wart, sort of like myself, you may want to pick up available on the website right now is the new Nomadic Cooling X3 testing harness. What this allows you to do is it's wired up in a way that you can actually take it out of the bag without taking out your control panel, without taking your interior vent, and you can actually plug this right into your air conditioner to turn it on. You're gonna to have to remember that there's basically two different things going on. You have an air conditioner on the top of your roof and then you have a control panel that's inside your vehicle. If there's ever a problem, the first thing we have to diagnose is if the problem is up on the air conditioner or down on the control panel. 95, 97, 98% of the time, it's a control panel issue. That was in the Nomadic Cooling 3000s. And the way that we uh, assess these things is we would just, you'd get one of these, you'd plug it in. If the air conditioner runs perfect, which it probably will, uh, then it's a control panel issue and then we can actually di uh, diagnose it easier. So when you're diagnosing these things in the field, you may wanna pick up the X3 tester. You may actually wanna keep one of these uh, inside your vehicle too while you're doing your build, just so that when you install it, you make sure everything's nice. You keep the control panel in a box we actually put it in a box with a sticker on top inside of a bag and it's ripped and it says, do not open this up till the very end. This may very well be uh, the thing that you need so that you can test your air conditioner, keep your control panel safe to your final, ready to button everything up and send your customer off on the way. And if you're the customer, eh, you still may want one of these. The other thing, you only want to keep this on for 15 minutes maximum, especially if it's not a very warm day. The reason why is this doesn't allow the safety feature of the internal temperature to turn off the compressor based on freezing of the evaporator coils. So you have about 10 to 15 minutes maximum that you can run on this unless you're at 100 degrees plus outside. So pick up one of these, they're available online today. Guys, if you wanna go further in comfort with the Nomadic Cooling X3 rooftop spectacular air conditioner, go over to Nomadic Cooling today and learn more.